we got Brazil versus the United States of America right now over on BetUS uh, TV.com slash odds. Brazil catching 27 points, 30 to one on the money line. Uh, total sits at 184 and a half. Steve Kerr has not announced uh, who he will be randomly benching in this game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll say this. I mean, I do like USA to win and advance, but oh, ooh, I, I know bold, bold take. Bold. <laughs> I, I don't feel comfortable here, laying, uh, <clears throat> laying 27 points because Brazil can hit some threes. I mean, in their last game, they were like 60% from behind the arc and they rebound offensively. Like they're, they're good on the offensive glass. So to Doug's point where we're comparing some of these teams to like some March madness uh, games, you know, this feels like a classic two fifteen seed where, you know, maybe if Brazil hits some shots and offensive rebound, like they could maybe win the first quarter, maybe even win the first half. I mean, USA cannot mess around with this Brazil team because this is international basketball. And if they're hitting 60% of their threes, you know, it doesn't matter if we're the, the more talented team. Now, I think it's going to be tough for Brazil to do that in back-to-back games. And certainly I would hope in an elimination game, the USA doesn't play with their food, but I don't know at 27, I, I felt silly towards the end of that uh, Puerto Rico game where they're, you know, playing around and you're like, why did I lay 32, and a half, 32 and a half. And I think I would be in a similar situation here. USA probably wins by 20. I don't know if they can get to that full 27, but um, I, I think there's some interesting ways to maybe play Brazil, like first quarter money line and stuff like that. Noobs, how do you see this matchup going Brazil, USA? I think the U S is going to truck this team. I mean, it's, they're better top to bottom. Now, this is a Brazil team that I have underrated. You know, I, I like Japan quite a bit in that last game, and they smoked Japan. I was yeah. very much wrong about the Japanese ability to beat this Brazilian team. But I don't know what to do here. And I hate to say it. It's kind of, if you go back and look at every game that we talked about in the U.S., I'm pretty sure I've said exactly these same few things. This spread probably should be bigger. Maybe it should be smaller. I have no idea. We're playing 40 minutes of basketball and a game with a total of 184. The spread's 27. I have no idea what to do with that. It just, uh, my brain cannot handle that. I'll probably find some ways to bet the U.S. early, Brazil late. Uh, I am trying to figure out, you know, so if you're trying to do that, is Brazil, you know, this isn't a group game. Point differential doesn't matter anymore. If you're getting absolutely shit kicked by the USA in the fourth quarter is Brazil still trying to run, still trying to shoot threes. Do they empty the bench a little bit and USA get a chance to stretch it out? So I'm a little worried that the dynamics of this game might be a little different. I'll be staying away from it. Um, miss getting this in for an official pick for the show, but I love giving free picks out to people that actually take the time to watch and listen. Kevin Durant under 15 and a half points. He's only gone over once in a game where he made eight of nine shots. So unless he makes eight of nine shots, I feel pretty good about Kevin Durant going under that number. Once again, again, an older player, someone Kerr knows that um, he benches with leads late. Uh, you know, let's keep him fresh. Let's not get him hurt. So unless Kevin Durant, and again, this is me basically calling how I'm going to lose this hits like four threes in the first <laughs> half of the game and a couple free throws there, even then, like he might still get to 15. So give me Kevin Durant under 15 and a half points. Yeah. And that, and that does make sense too. Right. I mean, I know he was dealing with an injury. They brought him back, but I I can't imagine they're going to give him a ton of minutes in this Brazil game, especially with the semifinals looming. So you think you would want to be careful with the guy who was coming in with an injury designation. Uh, Doug, anything you like in this uh, Brazil USA game? Yeah. I like a prop bet as well. In terms of the game, I like the dog, but I was hoping to get 31 or so. Kind of like the Puerto Rico game. The Americans are clearly living their best life right now at the Olympics, attending these events, going to gymnastics, going to ping pong, going to beach volleyball, LeBron sitting through the rain. They're living their best life, and they can flip the switch. And they showed that in the last game, trailing Puerto Rico after the first quarter and nearly covered the 19 and a half at halftime, outscoring them by 23 in that second quarter. So I'm just a little gun shy taking the points when I agree with noobs like this Brazil team is nothing special and that's the reason and I I like the Durant under I liked it more last game but I think Embiid under is the play here Brazil sort of goes with the small ball lineup like they don't start a center really they have two forwards and three guards and I think we're going to see more the lineup that the U.S. did in the second game Embiid is on this roster 
for Serbia, for Serbia and Jokic. Yeah. And then maybe Wembenyama. Maybe. I think that's more Bam, though. In so I, I'm under on Embiid. Um, ten and a half points is a lot for a team that likes to shoot a lot from outside. Now, Embiid might chuck a little bit from the elbows and stuff. But he moves around so stiffly that, like, I just don't think he's the right big to play in this matchup. I think it's AD and Bam all the way. And then let's not get Embiid hurt because we might have to play Jokic in the next round because they await the winner of uh, Serbia, and Austra- Serbia and Australia. So I would say Embiid's minutes will be limited. And I just think his overall apathy is the reason I want under 10 and a half <laughs> as an official play. But there might be some opportunity for, for Brazil in game. I think the Americans are going to take their foot off the gas in warmups, let alone second half if they're up a lot. Yeah, interesting, because Noops was saying he thought uh, USA comes out to the hot start and then puts it in cruise control. Uh, but I think I, that's, that's a good thought. I mean, look, they should, right? These, yeah. these games matter more than group play, but they're so much better than these teams. <laughs> I yeah. think they were up for the Sudan game, obviously because of what happened in the exhibition game. They were yeah. up, picking up full court, but you saw – so, but they came out – messing around against Puerto Rico. Like, I just don't know how much respect they have for Brazil, even though this is an elimination game. I mean, we all are playing amateur psychologists, right? No, totally. We're not handicapping basketball anymore, folks. (laughs) We're handicapping people on pseudo vacation. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, hey, do you want to go on a vacation where we also give you a medal and you get a lot of attention? All right, sure. I, I, So, yeah, really twist their arm. All right, so Noops, uh, no official plays, but he did toss in a Durant under, which uh, makes a ton of sense. Doug officially on Embiid under 10 and a half points. And I, I like that handicap there that they're probably saving him for some of the other big men they may have to square off against. Uh- 